So you guys wonder where's my keyboard? Well, good question. So let's open up and see what we got inside. This here's QCK. Series rival three ton wrist rest for the uh, keyboard. Way and last but not least, last but least, biggest thing that I'm really excited for is the Steel Series Aplex M750. And fuck you, come on. Focus, you bastard. R really? Focus. There we go. Alright, so let's get right to it. Okay, so let's start with the mouse pad. This is the QCK XXL. Big freaking mouse pad. Um, reason why I went with Steel Series because I've been using the Sensei. I've been really loving it a lot. And. The Rival 700 was more as a kind of like a a footprint to start off to see how it feels in my hands. I felt more comfortable with the Rival. And I watched a few videos here and there saying that the 700 is more kind of compared a little bit more comparison to the to the um, three times. It's like almost a size, almost like kind of the same. The 310 and 700. So I decided to go on with the 310. It was a really tough choice. Because for the first time, I've been doing really, really good with the Sensei that by far, that was the first game mouse I reviewed on this channel. So I decided to pull the trigger one of the rival instead. And of course, we're going to do field testing on all these products, but let's get started. We're going to do the mouse pad first and then the keyboard and then the last thing will be the mouse. So let's open up this bad boy. Come on. There you go. I got it out. Yes. Whew. Okay, right there by the box. the mouse pad itself Whew. wow you guys can't see that well so I'll be on lamp so you guys can see a little bit better so this is how freaking holy shit Whew. this is still series QCK XXL this is this is huge <laughs> so let's stop the video and get ready to unbox the keyboard okay now the next step is to unbox the keyboard okay. wow this is exciting for me Oh wow, that was easy. Keyboard itself. Oh, 
yes, not a Bray of Cable. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. That makes me happy right there. So it uses its own switch. I believe it used the SteelSeries QX switch. Yeah, I thought for a second it does look like a Cherry switch, but actually it's not. Okay, let me put this for you guys to see yourself. Ooh. Wow. Oh, I like this. Perfect. Not that big enough, but small enough. And it's a good thing it's a full-size keyboard. But let's actually plug this in. It has a nice Velcro strap that if you're going to LAN parties, you can tie up the cable. You don't have to worry about losing it either. And also, this is not USB 3.0. This is USB 2.0. I'm going to go plug this in the back. how the keyboard looks I'm gonna turn off the lights for a bit for you guys to see even more wow looks really beautiful wow see how it feels <laughs> oh this is oh this makes me happy wow I'm excited. All right. All right, so let's move on to the final thing, which, wow. And the wrist rest is here somewhere. So this is my first time for a long time using the wrist rest. Oh, so it's oh, so this wrist rest. Ah, that's nice. Oh, come on, get out of the box, you bastard. So when I got about to go beast mode, does this fucker doesn't want to come out? Okay. I have no choice. There we go, did you? Oh, that is nice. Oh, that's awesome. So it has the Steel Series logo in front of it. My hair got some nice tech taxi grip, rubberized grip. Oh looks oh yes, it looks nice. Alright. So let's go move the camera down here. Move this bad, move that baby out of the way because we're gonna open up this one right now. It was a really tough choice, man, because I really could not choose. The 310 is awesome because I used the 700 and I felt really comfortable. So I decided to pull the trigger and went with the 310 rival over the 310 Sensei. Get this out of the box slowly. Oh, oh yes, I'm excited. Okay, there it is. The rival three ton. Ho 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 ho. 
Not a break. No breaker cable. Thank you, God. Yes. Feels a little bit even smaller than the 700, which is even better for me. Makes me happy. And let's connect this. It's important to download the latest drivers from steerservers.com. Let's get this out of the way. Let's plug this bad boy in. how it looks and put the camera a little bit up so you guys can see it for yourself nice thank you there we go so let's turn off the lights how it looks so this is how it looks in the dark looks nice something happened right here to stop oh no so it works still Come on, you bastard, stop losing focus. Come on. Oh, this thing always loves to <clears throat> lose focus. I don't know why. Come on. There we go. So this is how my setup looks right now. My new weapons to play my games. Oh, wow, this is, this thing feels way much better. Very light, which is going to be crazy. But I'm excited for it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this um, unboxing video. As always, comment, subscribe, please be safe. Any questions, answer your questions down in the comment section. And I'll answer them as soon as possible. I'm really excited. It's going to be awesome. And thank you once again for watching my videos. Have a good day. Goodbye. Um, I forgot to mention something. That SteelSeries has this thing called the firm. Of course... I am not sponsored by Steel Service because I am doing this plan also paying off little by little. Um, the firm is like same thing that EVGA offers with the graphic cards. I think the power supplies. I don't know that much information. You can find out more for yourself and gives you good enough information for you if you are planning to upgrade your graphic card. But Steel Service also offers this thing called the firm also. Is that you want to get a game mouse, you can get the game mouse and you pay $25 for three months now for something like this like mines we're talking about close to eighty dollars um it's a good idea if there's somebody who wants to you know who cannot afford a uh, game mouse on the swap but they can pay off little by little it really depends so i like the idea it's a pretty good interesting idea but you already know what happens if you don't pay them off you're pretty much fucked but it's a good idea. I kind of like this. It's the first time I actually seen this on peripheral on the companies that I mean who make peripheral game peripheral stuff like game monsters, all that stuff in general. They are all for service like this. It's a good thing. That I like it. Is it something that you want to do? That's something that you're really gonna have to take your time and think about and talk to yourself. Can I pay this off without a problem without me being broke? That is completely up to you. So again, goodbye.